Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, let's talk about Webflow. We're going to talk about what it is, how I've been using it over the last several years, last year in particular, um, how this fits in with UX designers, designers uh, in general, with front-end developers, how does it all fit in with the enterprise corporate environment, development environment, with front-end developers, and what does the future hold for Webflow, and what do I think about Webflow in general? Um, because there's still a lot of unknowns about the future. Where is this going? Because I think it's still early what Webflow is doing and there needs to be more adoption to this, I think, uh, market-wide for us to really dive in and say, this is a must-have tool. But technically, it probably is a must-have tool. Well, let's talk about it. By the way, there's a lot of construction going on in my house, so if you hear banging, try to ignore that. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Um, and also, this video, I just want to leave this open. This, think of this as a fireside chat. I want people to comment about their opinions of Webflow. This is not me just telling you, hey, you should do this, this, this. This is just my honest opinion and my thoughts on Webflow. I want to leave this open for discussion. And then through that discussion, I'll create more content, more videos around that because I think it's an interesting thing. But for those of you that don't know, that you've been living under a rock, you're a designer, friend, and developer, you don't, you don't know about Webflow, I, I'm sure you have, but just brief. Webflow, in my opinion, I consider it a WYSIWYG on steroids. It's a tool, it's a web development tool, a tool that allows you to build websites without using any code. But unlike the things in the past, and I've been in this industry for over 20 years, everything that I've used from Netscape Composer, which was 20 years ago, FrontPage, Dreamweaver, uh, Wix, Squarespace, any web, web um, like, uh, WordPress or any web development framework, nothing, in my opinion, has ever been this amazing that gives you, the designer, the control to take your design, whether it's in Sketch, Figma, Adobe XD, Photoshop, what have you, your pixel perfect design, and give you the control to manipulate and build that exact design and have, give you the amazing full control down to the pixel. Uh, in addition, allowing you to build that site responsibly based on different um, different dimensions, tablet, mobile, landscape, and portrait mode so efficiently. And then allowing you to export that code, this, system, this, this semantic CSS and HTML that you can export and uh, giving you that full power. Without, I mean, it's, it's easy. It, yeah, you probably heard that before, a tool allow you to do that, but until you actually kind of open, open up and look under the hood of Webflow and actually use it, you'll see like, damn, this is amazing. Like, it, this is crazy. Like, you, you, you're trying to figure out like, could I get paid to use this? Like, how does this fit in with what I do, right? So that's how interesting Webflow is. And then in the fact, over the last year, I've been, I was working with um, several interns at this company I worked with, this insurance company. And <laughs> these, uh, like, these interns, they're, they're studying you know, uh, computer science, right? And they're in the mid of their getting their degree. And they, they never heard of this tool, or maybe some of them kind of vaguely heard of it. And I show them what I'm doing, because at this last company I worked with, I actually uh, part of my duties was front-end development duties, and I'll talk about that. But I'll show them exactly what I'm, how I'm building it and how I'm using it, and their jaw just dropped. And it's like, one, one comment was like, this is scary. Like, that's the comment you get from front-end developers or computer science majors, folks who have never heard of this, and go, wait a minute, I'm actually studying to build code, I'm learning code by hand and all this stuff, and this tool is coming along and giving designers the power to actually build these websites and these, these uh, you know, these applications and things like that, not from a back-end standpoint, but from a front-end standpoint, like building this framework, it's like, wow, like, this is really disrupting the industry. And um, it's really interesting, right? So now, let me just, let me talk about how I've been using it over the last couple of years and how, how I think you should fit into it and what I think the future holds. But over the last, Several years that I've been using Webflow, I started using it, and Webflow, I just use it as a web development tool. I use it to, to build out 
my responsive website a couple of years ago, just my portfolio site, right? And so Webflow has that feature. It allows you to just build your website and you can host it on their site or you can export the code. In that particular instance, I was using a WordPress site, so I exported the code and I kind of integrated my code onto, you know, um, I had to kind of copy and paste it into my WordPress site because I had too much going on with WordPress. I couldn't just dump WordPress at the time, but I really wanted to because it was like, it's great if you can just build your site within Webflow and host it on their platform and go in and make changes, hit publish, and it's there. It's, it's amazing, right? And so I've used it for that. That was the initial thing. But over the last year, I started working with an insurance company and uh, in the in insure tech space, right? We're building an app for, in this, this for workers' comp insurance. And so though I was the principal UX designer, this is a, I was in an incubator of this large um, insurance company where we had only four people that was building this product. We had a back-end guy, we had a product developer uh, who was leading the product. You had a, an underwriter person, who business person, and you had me who was in control of the design in turn, and also I had to help out on the front end development um, portion of it. And this tool gave me the superpowers to really put on a front end developer hat and build out this, the front end portion of this application, which I did over the last year. And to the point to where, I mean, it may be invaluable from that, st that, that standpoint of somebody that knew both visual UI design, UX design, and can produce screens at a high level so efficiently responsive website design apps etc you know without them needing to go out and hire a friend and developer that was is an interesting play right but coming into this was webflow a responsibility of mine that, that was actually needed did i did they hire me because i knew webflow no they did Part part of me getting the job was they knew I was I was kind of I was proficient in the in the back in like front, some front end development stuff like HTML CSS I've been doing that for over twenty years now or fifteen plus years in terms of whenever CSS came about but yeah HTML I've been doing that for over twenty years so that portion of it but they didn't really expect me to build out and and be that much of a friend and developer to the point to where they didn't have to go out they, they relied on me heavily from a friend and development standpoint so what i had to do was i used webflow to not only build the website that's a simple part but the application part the parts that needed some back end guts behind it i had to uh kind of hack my way through webflow building every single page exporting the css portions of the css that i wanted and kind of working with this team that really didn't build their application around Webflow. So I had to kind of hack my way through it. Um, though, so in this last year, I didn't use Web, I used Webflow efficiently for what it was, for what it's, for what it's power, right? For me building, you know, front end portions of a site, responsive portions of a site. But at the end of the day, I had to export that code and then integrate it into another app on another server and so that was where the hacky part of it came into play that being said i don't think webflow is building their business um, to allow developers to use it that way because it was such a hacky way of doing things um, that's where the confusion part comes in for me like how is webflow going to what what's their future though we can see that clear cut, it's an amazing, powerful tool for developers, front-end developers, a lot. And to the point to where when I had to build a site or a page or portion where I had to go into the back end, I'm like, can I just do this in Webflow? I don't even want to mess with code anymore. That's how powerful it is. And but I don't know how is this going to play out long term? How do this integrate with enterprise development organizations that are actually building apps and front-end developers they would have to buy into this right a lot of times you get front-end developers who are not using this the company has to have a mandate to say hey you guys have to learn webflow and actually start building our platform with using the 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 webflow framework and uh you know until that becomes mainstream 
I don't know, you know, how, and, you know, until that becomes mainstream, it's not something where you go, man, you need to learn Webflow, right? You need to learn Webflow, you need to learn Webflow. But at the end of the day, it's such a part of two. Like for me, for what I, for what I think, for designers in itself, I think it empowers designers for in several ways. One, it's gonna give you the full control and ability efficiently to build your own websites, build, you know, to use it if you're doing freelance on the side and things like that, to build uh, freelance uh, small mom and pop shops or e-commerce shops as well, sites as well. Um, but that's an interesting thing because I don't know if you, that's the future. That's another thing I wanna talk about. For small businesses, like needing website systems and platforms, I don't think the future is a freelance designer building a custom site for you. I actually think small businesses need or are better off with probably system built websites. So I'll give you an example. My wife's a real estate agent. Uh, I tried to build her site by hand or back in the day and, and you know just manage it on my own. But then when I found the site, like we, we use Real Geeks, um, realgeeks.com, it's a website platform for real estate agents. It had everything built in, the CMS, the MLS system, everything, right? The Everything you needed, basically from a business standpoint, for somebody like myself and her to just say, you know what, I don't wanna spend hours and hours and hours trying to do this, do this. we're gonna pay a couple hundred bucks a month and use this platform. It, 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 it's done wonders for us over the last several years. And if you own a restaurant, if you're an, if you're an attorney, if you own a small coffee shop or whatever, I'm sure there's gonna be systems out there that's built primarily for your specific business that you're probably better off going out there and just adopting that service and kind of manipulating the site to your liking but not spending the time for somebody to build your site by hand. So I don't think, though it's built, it's, it's built for you to be a freelance designer, I don't think that's the future to, make, to be honest with you. So, but, I still think it's amazing because I think it gives us as designers this tool to be full stack designers, developers. And it also, in my opinion, also gives me the ability to own my own ship. Like for example, I could, like right now I'm teaching the essentials of Webflow in my membership right now at MLUX Academy. And I'm showing you how to build a, an, a like a software enterprise dashboard, right? And it's a enterprise software, SaaS software product. I could essentially build my own product, like prototype, and show it to investors or show it to people, right? So if you are interested in building your own apps, building your own products, doing your own thing as a designer, Webflow gives you the power for that. Not only gives you the power for just being a full stack developer or designer um, that knows some front end stuff, but it also gives you the power to actually fully take your product almost to market or you're to a prototype level where it's fully functional you can click around and things like that and you can see it work um, without having without going out there and really spending hundreds and or thousands of dollars on a back-end developer to actually put it all together for you right you can prototype it first and build your thing and see what people get get people response to it and then invest more into it if it's so Webflow gives you so many things and it's such a powerful disruptor in the industry. It's an amazing, it's a very provocative, interesting tool that I know I love it. I want to continue to use it. I think you should dabble into it, but how it's going to fit in with the enterprise marketplace, how it's going to, what, it, what's the, what the future holds for Webflow, is it going to be wide adoption to it? That I don't know. So I say, hey, Leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts about Webflow. What do you think the future holds for it? What do you think, uh, how you think companies will adapt to it in the future or friend and developers will adapt to it in the future and uh, just share your thoughts. Very interesting topic. I wanna hear your thoughts and, and uh, start a discussion on it. Anyway, thanks for watching my video guys. If you like the things I talk about, hit the like button, subscribe, share, and click on my little face at the end of this video and subscribe to my channel. I want to get to a hundred thousand dollars or hundred hundred thousand dollars hundred thousand subscribers soon I want to get my little button and hang it on the wall here. Anyway, thanks for commenting and uh, subscribing and watching my videos and supporting We'll talk soon guys. Peace